Today we start talking about factoring. And factoring is the process that's going to, going to take us from standard form to factored form. So we already know that from going factor form we expand it, from vertex form to standard we expand it. Now that's just one way to go to uh, factor form. Why would we go to factor form? Because we need to find the zeros for some reason. So the issue with factoring is that it's not just one method or one case. There's a lot of stuff to it. I'm going to give you a quick view of it, and today we're just going to talk about common factors. So the first thing you look at when you try to factor something is you're going to look for common factor, and we'll do that in a sec. The next thing you're going to do is check for both special cases, difference of squares and perfect squares to be covered later on. Then you check if it's a simple trinomial, we'll do that later. You check if not, if it's a complex trinomial, and then maybe it's one of those cases where you just cannot factor it. So we're going to have to look at all these cases uh, individually on future videos. So today, just common factor. What is common factor? So common factor, right? Common factor, well first of all, in order to have something in common, you need to have more than one term because we're looking for something that's common in all terms, all two terms, all three terms, all four terms, however many there are. And what is that you look for to be common? Well, you're going to look at the coefficient for all the terms and see there's a number that goes into all of them. All of them, not two out of three, just all of them. And then you look at the variables, or the letters, and you see if there's a letter that's repeated in all three terms. And how many of them? So if it's x squared, well, there's two x's. Here's x cubed. There's three x's, so two of them are common, because there's two here and there's two here, plus another one. And what you do is you take out that common factor, and then you divide whatever you had from before by that common factor. So let's put an example. We'll do three examples so you can see what we're talking about. Six x squared plus two. So there are two terms. We need to know if a, a number here goes into six and into two. And you can probably see that that number is going to be two. Two goes into six and two goes into two. Then we'll look for the variables. We see we have x squared here, but no x squared here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out Make it thick there. You're going to take out a 2 from here because there's no variables, and then we're going to divide this whole thing by 2. Now, what I'm doing in red is kind of what you're doing in your head. What you would write down is this I took a 2 outside, and now 6x squared divided by 2 is 3x squared. And 2 divided by 2, it's plus 1. And there you have it. So 6x squared plus 2 is the same as 2 times 3x squared plus 1. The one nice thing about factoring is that every time you finish factoring something, you can multiply it in your head, expand it in your head, so that if you get the same thing you started with, it's right. So 2 times 3x squared gives me 6x squared. 2 times 1 gives me plus 2. So I know that that's the right answer. If we look at this one, we got 4x to the power of 5 minus 3x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared. Okay, let's look at the numbers first. Um, 4, 3, and 2. The only number that goes into 4, 3, and 2 is 1, and that's just not necessary for us. So let's look at the variables. I got x to the power of 5, x to the power of 3, and x squared. So x is there all the time. But there's more than one x. There's 5 here, 3 here, and 2 here. So I could take out 2 from all of them, and that would still work. So we're going to do, put the brackets on it, take out x squared, and divide the whole thing by x squared. And again, I'm not actually going to be drawing this. I'm just putting it right now so you can see it. What I'm going to write is this. I'm going to say x squared, open bracket. 4x to the power of 5 divided by x squared. Well, if I took out 2, that just leaves me with 3x to the power of 3. If I take 2 from here, that just leaves me minus 3x. And if I take 2 from the 2 that I have, that just leaves me with plus 2. And close bracket. So I'm going to expand it again in my head to make sure that I get the same thing. But x squared times 4x 
cubed is 4x to the power of 5, that's good. Minus 3x times x squared is minus 3x to the power of 3, that checks. And x squared times plus 2 is just plus 2x squared, so we got this right. And the last example is when we can possibly take two things out. And let's look at this. So I'm going to do it without using the red marker, without doing the divided by. Let's see if you can figure this out. I got 10, 20, and 25. So we can probably take out a 5. 5. I've got x, I've got x, and I don't have x here. So I can't take x's out because they're common here, but they're not common on all terms. Let's look at the y's. y squared, y, and y. So the most I can take out from all terms is 1y. So I'm going to take a y outside. Open bracket, and now I'm going to do this divided by 5y. Well, 10 divided by 5 is 2. x stays. y squared divided by y. That gives me only 1y. 20 divided by 5 is 4 x squared, nothing changes with the x squared, and the y divided by y is 1, so I can put a 1 or just leave it as it is. And the last one, minus 25 divided by 5, it's minus 5. And y divided by y is 1, therefore that's an answer. And as every time we factor, we're just going to check it again. 5y times 2xy, well that's 5 times 2 is 10, that's good y times y is y squared, and x is x, got it. 4x squared times 5y, well 5 times 4 is 20, that's good. y times nothing is y, and x times 1. x squared times, sorry, x squared is just x squared, and it goes right there. And last term, 5y times minus 5, well the y is just the y, and the 5 times the minus 5 is minus 25, so this checked out and we did common factor properly. Next, we will look into this to see if we can continue factoring. But at least common factor, which is the first thing that we never, never, never forget to do, it's done.